हेलो भिवर्स ओलकाम टू माई टेक अपडेट्स अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल पावर्ड बेक्नोलॉजी आर एस एस डट कम हेलो इन दिस टीटोरियल हाउ टू इन्स्टल जाबिक सार्वर सिक्स पॉइंट जिरो ऑन ओबन टू टोटी पॉइंट जिरो फोर दिस इज माई सार्वर इनफरमेशन ओबन टू टोटी पॉइंट जिरो फोर सार्वर आई पी एड्रेड स्टैंडार्ड सिक्सटी सिक्स स्टैंडार्ड नाइन रैम टू जिबी डिस्क स्पेस माय स्कूल वर्षन मास्ट बी 8.0 अदरवाइज यू कैन नॉट इंस्टॉल लेटेस्ट जाबिक्स वर्षन 6.0 चेकिंग सर्वर वर्षन एंड आईपी एड्रेस उबंटू 20.04 स्टेप वन मास्ट बी योर सर्वर अपडेट एंड अपग्रेड यूजिंग दिस कमांड इंस्टॉलेशन डन Upgrade installation done. Now download Zabbix 6.0 dev package from Zabbix official website and then add this repo into my server. Then must be run update command. My all command using from root user, so I don't use sudo. So if you not use root user, so must be use sudo space then command. Otherwise you cannot execute any executable command from your server. Now install Zabbix server, MySQL Zabbix frontend Zabbix agent conf Zabbix SQL script Zabbix agent. Done all installation process and then install MySQL server must be 8.0 MySQL service install. Otherwise, you cannot use Zabbix server properly. MySQL installation done. Now start MySQL service. Yes, properly start my school service and enable this service and check my school status. Yes, properly running. Configure database. You can replace your password from the big set there at one two three. Now I am going to my school terminal using blank password. Then create user and grant privilege. Then the step three is import default database. This is new server dot sql dot gz file. This is for Zabbix version six point zero. Database imported done. Now step four: add database name, username, and into Zabbix server conf. Now open this server conf file and input db name. Default db name is Zabbix, and default user is Zabbix. Uh, my created user is Zabbix underscore user. Password is Zabbix underscore one two under Zabbix at the rate one two three. Then save and check. Then step five: set up Nginx web server. Open etc Zabbix Nginx conf and comment out this two line and input your server IP address or domain name. Then save and then save and exit and step six restart and enable all services. PHP FPM two this is not needed and enable all services yes, successfully.
enable our services now access your server IP address and complete web installation process PSP FPM 7.4 must be restart because must be you can check what is your PSP version the, so my server use is 7.4 so must be uh, restart FPM service and enable FPM service then coming Zabbix 6.0 for installation from your web browser then next step Zabbix DB, Zabbix user and Zabbix password as you are created already next step you can put your name any name technology rss dot com this is my website name the next step congratulations you have successfully installed Zabbix frontend configuration file conf slash Zabbix dot com dot PSP created this is Zabbix 6.0.5 finish and then login using default login is username is admin and password is Zabbix must be use admin and password is Zabbix yes Zabbix server is running properly 6.0 If you want more tutorial so you can find my YouTube channel and learn more configuration user role media type action trigger and server monitoring like memory disk space and server restart shutdown